राहुल गांधी बोलता है थेट जाऊ मूर्ति होती है वैसे मूर्तियां बना रखी है और ओबीसी की वहां पर मूर्तियां भर रखी है मगर पावर बिल्कुल नहीं है देश को चलाने में कोई भागीदारी नहीं है यह सवाल मैंने उठाया है कि क्या और हर हर ओबीसी युवा को यह समझना है कि क्या आपको इस देश को चलाने में भागीदारी मिलनी चाहिए हां या ना अगर मिलनी चाहिए तो क्या आपकी आबादी पांच परसेंट है हां या ना यह सवाल है और डिस्ट्रैक्शन इस बात से हो रहा है बीजेपी को ये जो दो पॉइंट्स हैं महिला आरक्षण वाले डिलिमिटेशन और सेंसस इनको हटा देना चाहिए और एकदम महिलाओं को जो इज्जत मिलनी चाहिए जो रिस्पेक्ट मिलनी चाहिए जो भागीदारी होनी चाहिए उनको एकदम वो कर दें और कास्ट सेंसस का जो हमने डेटा निकाला था उसको पब्लिक कर दें तो सारे हिंदुस्तान के ओबीसी युवाओं को पता लग जाए वो हैं कितने और नया सेंसस कास्ट बेसिस पे करें थैंक यू और और प्रधानमंत्री को प्रधानमंत्री को अपने अगले भाषण में यह कहना है यह समझाना है देश को कि हिंदुस्तान के सबसे जरूरी नब्बे अफसर जो हैं उनमें से सिर्फ तीन ओबीसी क्यों हैं यह मेन सवाल है और मैंने दलितों और आदिवासियों की बात ही नहीं की अभी अंग्रेजी में क्या देता हूं द बीजेपी केम अप विद द आइडिया ऑफ अ स्पेशल सेशन वी अप्रिशिएटेड दैट आइडिया विद अ लॉट ऑफ फैन फेयर एंड पॉम्प वी मूव फ्रॉम द ओल्ड बिल्डिंग टू द न्यू बिल्डिंग द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इन अ वेरी ड्रामेटिक जेस्टर कैरिड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया फ्रॉम द ओल्ड बिल्डिंग टू द न्यू बिल्डिंग एंड ही सेड that he is passing a very important law and we agree with him women's reservation is a central step in the empowerment of the women of india and it is a critical step but when we read the fine print we found something very interesting two little subtext were there number one this will be done after delimitation number two this will be done after census what it means is this bill will be implemented a decade from now it is not going to be implemented today and every woman in india should understand this it is not going to be implemented today it's going to be implemented if it is implemented 10 years from now so this is a diversionary tactic it's a way of making everyone's attention move away a question is what are they moving away from and the answer is the caste census and i'd like to explain why in my research for my speech i looked at how many officers in the government of india the senior most officers are secretaries how many secretaries in the government of india come from the obc community how many come from the dalit community how many come from the tribal community and i was shocked to find that 5% of the secretaries of the government of india sorry three officers in the government of india secretary level are obc first and then i asked another question what budget do they control and they control 5% of the budget obcs dalits tribals all put together control 6% of the budget tribals control 0.1 something of the budget so this is a shocking finding and i said this in parliament my point being that are the obcs 5% of india is that the amount of participation we want of the obc community so the central question is how many obcs are there in india how many different communities are there in india if we want to distribute power to the people of india we have to know this number otherwise we are working without data and so i placed this on the floor of the house and i said look please tell us 
how many OBCs? We have the data, I know, because the government of India has already done the census and all this data is available. Why is the Prime Minister not releasing this data? And second, what is this delay in this census? The caste census should be done now and the last caste census data should be released at once. Now what was the BJP's answer, very interesting answer? That it doesn't matter how many OBCs are in the government of India. What matters is that we have MPs and MLAs who are OBC. No, that's not the point. Because you can ask any MP or any MLA how much they participate in lawmaking, how much they participate in how the money in India is spent, they will tell you there is no participation. So it is almost as if they keep placing these OBC MPs into the Vidhan Sabha from one side and taking away the real power of the OBCs from the other side. And as the Prime Minister keeps saying, he is an OBC leader, I want him to explain why only three OBCs are there in the government of India and why the OBC community which is the backbone of this country is responsible for only 5% of the budget. They have not been able to answer this question. In fact, when I said it, I saw in their face the panic. Because this is the truth, this is what they are trying to distract India from. The fact that the large mass of Indian people do not have any power. Hello, Rahul Ji, very sensitive to this reservation. It is not from today, when it came to IST. You have touched the Pandora box. You have said this in your speech, that these two, the government is not giving it, the government has not passed it. Now the question is, what do you think of you? Do you go to the government, like the secretaries, in the government and in the Mahila Arakshan, for the OBCs, Look, simple thing, step by step, 